Counter on Scratch. So we need some variables. One score for all sprites. Value for this sprite only. And index for this sprite only. And when the so we will have a clicking sprite, let's call it coin, and we're going to draw a coin with yellow. Like this, and then, whoops. We're gonna make the coin. So, next, when green flag click, go to zero, zero. And when this sprite is clicked, we're going to broadcast right value. And in here, when the green flag is clicked, we will show switch costume to zero and we will go to x zero y one fifty like that and we will set size to two hundred like that so now you see everything is done so next we need to do the actual thing so when I receive right value and make sure you have the pen extension make a block called render text and run without screen refresh and we gonna use the block under right value and define render text <clears throat> render text we're going to repeat length of score and we're going to first set index to 1 <coughs> and set value to 0 and then under that we set value to the letter index of score Next, we switch our costume to value. Then we're going to change the index by one. And then we're going to stamp. And before that, erase all and hide. So, Next, we got to have the score change. So when the sprite is clicked before that change score by one. So next, <clears throat> you see that it will work. And then you see that the numbers get jumbled up in one. So we must space it out. Use a change x by 20. And when the green flag is clicked, erase all. And next, when we click the sprite, you'll see something weird happens. So make sure you set score to zero and set index to zero and set value to zero so under here render text we set x to zero and now it works pretty good <clears throat> but you might notice that 
our text goes to the right and that does not work well in a clicker game so we must do something so in set x to zero instead we will set x to zero minus length of score multiplied by 10 so put that in so it well i will explain what it is so <clears throat> setting x to zero <clears throat> length of score is how long our score is how many digits and then if we multiply that by 10 we get how many pixels we need to move right to center it and then zero minus will move it to the left because our text is to the right and you could test this out and it works except it's still a little bit to the left so instead here we can set it to this except also you will see we have our sprite here so we shall move this the letter over so we will add 10 to it hey look it's good perfect but i just realized something that you can just use zero minus length of score times 10 plus 10 and that will work so you could now click the sprite yes and it self-centers so goodbye